Hey guys, welcome back to No Catching. It's me, Ella. <laughs> um, today is Vlogmas Day 28. Oh my gosh, the year is almost over. I forgot to pause the TV so there's noise in the background. Look at my plants. She's still got new leaves coming up. There's a new leaf. Right, there's a brand new leaf. That one just opened. <laughs> I haven't killed them <laughs> but we also haven't gotten to our cold winter yet so we'll see we'll see if they survive the winter <laughs> I got, i'm in here i gotta switch over some laundry Whew, i served too fast <laughs> my legs are sore right there's my gold fleck he's losing leaves but they you're supposed to lose leaves in the winter um because they're warm weather plants so he should perk back up once the weather gets warm again where can i set you gonna be a bad angle anywhere. Wait, I got a tripod right here. Anyways, I just got done recording a Happy Mo video. And, ooh, okay. Are you on there? Yeah. <laughs> and editing it, and it's producing right now. And now I gotta put up the Happy Mail, switch this laundry over. And this is a reusable bag I had to wash. Cause it did have a nice little spot barbecue sauce on it. So I'm just gonna hang that up there to dry. Um, oh, goodness. These towels are so hard to get out of the washer. <laughs> what was I saying? I gotta put the Happy Mail up and then I'm gonna set down a crochet. Is what I was trying to say, but I got distracted. Ugh, getting all these towels out are hard because they're so heavy when they're wet. <laughs> Oops, I don't know if I shook y'all. But yeah, so I wanna work on my. Uh, I can't hardly reach the bottom of the washer anymore. I wanna work on my pullover. And then I will work on um, the rattle that I was gifted. <laughs> I already got a dryer sheet in there. So yeah, let me shut the washer so I can use it at the table. For my laundry basket. But yeah, so that is my plan. Turn the dryer on. <laughs> for today. Um, Devin's napping. He's taking a nap because he went to bed with me last night. So, but he's got to work tonight. So he's gonna lay down for a few hours. So I'm just gonna chill and watch TV and crochet. I need to empty the dishwasher. It is always full, and then then the hand wash stuff is full. <laughs> but do I want to give it? Not right now. I might do it later. And I'm a little bit hungry. What time is it? It's 1:15. So. I need to figure out what to do for lunch and dinner. I don't know. I just love looking at my plant. <laughs> I'll come down here for a minute. It's growing so much. Like this is all new growth. And it's like swooping. It's so cute. I'm, I'm so excited to just keep this plant forever because I, I vaguely remember my grandmother. All these are new leaves. These are so exciting. Um, she had a pothos that was huge. It had like each one of these vines was like 12 feet long. And I want that. I want, hopefully, by the time we get a house, I'll have like a sitting room for me to do my crafts in. I can have this put somewhere and then have its little vines just like all over the room. That's like, that's my goal. <laughs> I want her vines everywhere. I keep calling it a her. <laughs> I don't know why. But she's my baby. I rescued her. She only had like less than 10 leaves when I bought her and she was just completely dry. Her dirt was completely dry. And now, ooh, my ficus needs to be repotted really bad. It's root bound. I keep forgetting to go to Lowe's and buy dirt. We gotta do that because I don't want it to die. But it's looking good so far. It's just root bound. It stopped growing. But um, it's still alive, so that's good. Ooh, all right. So I'm gonna go get that video uploading. Link all the people below, all the other YouTubers. And then I'm gonna sit down and crochet. I'll check up with you guys later, maybe. Or there might just be some clips of me crocheting. Who knows? Okay, so I ended up emptying the dishwasher someone's going to off emptying the um you know the hand dry section whatever that's called <laughs> the pots and wooden handle things um reloading the dishwasher with what little bit was in there hand washing the knives that were in there <laughs> and also got out a little bit of my valentine's day stuff the stuff that i can put up the rest of it Devin not have to do but i'm sitting here now crocheting I just added the new ball to my pullover. It's called the Easy Pullover by Sorella. It's a free pattern. I'll link it below in any video that I show it in. I'll, it'll be linked below. I printed out the pattern so that I can um, 
follow up with having to keep looking at my phone. And uh, this is my high tech way of keeping track of my uh, the rows because <laughs> you have to repeat rows two and three until you get to one, two, three, four. Row 34 for my, the size I'm making. So I just write them all down here in what row it is. S for solid, W for window. <laughs> and then I mark them off as I go. That's my fancy high tech way of doing that. <laughs> I really like this pattern, so I'm probably definitely gonna make it again. Uh, this paper is so fancy. I had to get some more printer paper and my Walmart was out of the kind of normally get, like the cheap regular paper. So I had to get like, it's called premium paper. It's like $2 more. But it's fancy feeling <laughs> so my pattern's nice and fancy other than my scribbles but i will keep scribbling like if i make this pattern six times it'll be written all over this page and then i'll eventually just get a scrap piece of paper to keep track on it or uh, the opposite side because i don't have a fancy printer that prints out on two sides i need to get one of those but um yeah so that's my fancy pattern technique right there but yeah i'm sitting here watching see no evil still <laughs> or again um I got the kitchen cleaned up. The dryer, I switched it over. It's done. I just haven't went and got it. It could stay in there. It's just towels. <laughs> but um, I got the Happy Mo video edited and up. <clears throat> I think, it, oh, I hung up those Christmas cards, the rest of them. Filling in some spots <laughs> from where I took like the reefs and things down. And yeah, so now I'm gonna sit here and relax for a little while and crochet on this. I gotta get Devin up in like 30 minutes. And then, um, I'll probably sit back down and crochet some more because <laughs> I'm trying to not do too much, you know, I'm trying to rest as much as possible so that she stays in there longer. <laughs> um, and yeah, I feel pretty good today. I'm tired and I'm sore. I keep having like round ligament pains and uh, I've noticed I'm starting to get some stretch marks. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really worried about that because I'm not the kind of person who like cares if I have stretch marks and Devin doesn't either. Um, I had stretch marks before I even got pregnant with Jesse because of growing pretty fast. <laughs> and um, I got a few with Jesse, and I've noticed a few new ones, or at least maybe darkening of the ones of Jesse's. Uh, or, you know, they're getting purple like they do. <laughs> um, I actually didn't get any stretch marks with Jesse until right around when I was induced. And it's like that line that you get on your belly. My, mine didn't show up until the day they induced me. Actually, after labor, it was there. It wasn't there before labor. So, that was weird. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I don't, I'm not the kind of person who cares if my body has stretch marks on it. As long as my body works, I'm happy. Um, but, yeah. I mean, obviously. I never wear makeup. I would like to wear makeup someday. But, I don't, I don't have put it on. <laughs> I have never put, like, actual makeup on my face. I've used, like, when I was a teenager and cool, I used eye stuff. But I wouldn't know how to do all the rest of that stuff. And my hair uh, is usually in ponytails or half ponytails or just down. And it's a good day if I remember to brush it. <laughs> I'm just not like a um, appearance kind of person. I do like painting my nails and my toenails just because it makes me feel happy. <laughs> but um, I'm really bad at it. Like they look good back here. But if you look up close, it's, it doesn't look so good. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I'm on a sidetrack. <laughs> I got the tree on. Look at that blank spot. <laughs> Part of the roll lights went out and I don't have any extra bulbs. So, um, I'll have to try to remember that next year and get some new lights. <sighs> yeah. It's still hot in here to me. It says it's 68 degrees, but I still feel really hot. <laughs> I guess it's my hormones or something. I ate some lunch earlier. Been drinking a lot of water. I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree, but I didn't want to go enough to go. <laughs> I want to see if they got Valentine's Day stuff out yet. Because um, I want to try to get some more of those glittery hearts that I got a few years ago to put on the walls. Because I'd like to have more. <laughs> and um, I got to find some little things for Jesse for Valentine's Day. Because we always make, we always get him a, like a stuffed animal usually. And some candy and some little, you know, knickknacks. And also he has a, a Valentine's Day countdown. Kind of like an advent, but it's only 14 days. Um, that I put little stuff in. So I need to, um, try to find little trinkets and stuff. Usually Dollar Tree stocks pretty fast. But, uh, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while. I can't remember the last time I went. I've been trying to avoid going anywhere because I don't want to get sick. And not just COVID, but any sickness. <laughs> um, but I want to run in there. I wear my mask and everything. I just want to try to find some Valentine's Day stuff. 
and uh, that'll be it probably of me going pretty much anywhere except you know drive through things like prescriptions and parks and things like that <laughs> because um, I don't want to catch COVID I don't want to catch the flu I don't want to catch a, you know like a strip throat or anything like that I don't want to catch any of that stuff before the baby's born because I don't want to one expose her and two I don't want to have to be quarantined from her if I'm sick when she's born I also don't want to make Jesse sick but I mean he's about to go back to school so he's gonna get sick anyways which is gonna make me sick so oh you know I'm gonna be sick anyways probably <laughs> but uh yeah so I'm blabbing instead of crocheting still got quite a few rows to do for the length of this and I'll probably try it on throughout the rows because I, I want it you know I don't want it to like a uh, a short length I like my tops longer <laughs> <clears throat> let's see here i'm on row nine i'm just about to start row nine right yes so i still got a lot let's see here one two three four five so five ten fifteen twenty twenty six rows is what the pattern calls for but i'll judge that when i get there and then i do the hem line and then the sleeves. The sleeves will be interesting because when I did Sorella's pattern for the Everyday Cardigan, which I love, I made two of those, I had to alter the sleeves big time because they were super long. Like they would have been flapping off my arms. Um, I took off 16 rows to make them fit my arm. So, but I think that I crochet loose when I'm making stuff like this because I think that's why they always turn out bigger than they're supposed to. So if this one turns out bigger and I don't like it, the way it fits, I'll either rip it out, which I probably won't do because I hate doing that. I'll probably just give it to someone. And um, make another one and just use a smaller hook. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I like making cardigans because they're open. So it's okay if they're a little big because they're open. So it doesn't matter. This is my first time ever making like a shirt shape, you know, like a pullover thing. That wasn't a kid size. Um, so it's new, you know. And it's coming along really fast. I already got 400 yards in it. 490 something I think 482 is how much those skeins are and I did that yesterday and I'm just now starting I just put the second skein on there just this little bit of orange <laughs> his that's how many stitches I had until the next row go figure but yeah I'm gonna sit here and watch TV and work on this my hand is shaking and I'll catch up with you guys later today and yeah hopefully i'll remember to do something else today instead of cutting the vlog off and then forgetting to do anything <laughs> hey guys i don't know if you could tell because you didn't see the before because i didn't do it before <laughs> but this is jesse's toys minus his legos i've got to figure out something to do with his legos because he has so many and actually there's some in the closet that he got for christmas that i put up <laughs> two two big boxes of them that aren't even open yet because there's so many legos but anyways, I just went through all his toys. I organized them the way I like them. <laughs> I know, he's just going to mess them up. But, you know, I just that's just me. But also, I took out a ton. I uh, got rid of broken ones for trash. And also, a lot for donate that I noticed that he doesn't ever play with. I'm trying so hard to cut down the amount of toys he gets. Because between him and then June, we're going to have toys everywhere. So, I want to kind of limit their toys. And... Maybe, maybe do like a, um, you know, if you want to get a new toy, you got to first get rid of a toy. I need to do that. You know, Jesse's old enough now to understand that concept. So I'm going to try. So that's his room. Christmas tree box is up there. Um, whew, I'm tired now. I'm, don't worry. I've been drinking water. I'm going to rest. But like this trash bag right here is of broken toys, random paper things, you know, like when he does crafts that I don't keep. I keep a lot of his crafts. Um... There's a Halloween costume in there that's ripped up, messed up, so I'm just going to throw it away instead of doing anything. Plus, I cleaned out his craft drawer, which we have in the living room, with, um, you know, like construction paper, coloring books, crowns, markers, all that kind of stuff in it. Because we do crafts a lot. I cleaned it out. I needed it so bad. Oh, my God. I had kind of neglected that. Found a whole bunch of change. We have a drawer right there that we put, like, pocket change in. Don't know why he had a whole bunch of change. <laughs> but that trash bag is just Jesse trash. <laughs> But it's nice and clean now. I split up. I put up all his markers. He's going to have to ask for those when he wants to use them. Because there's a, a lot of them. <laughs> I bought him one of those huge packs of markers. And then the crowns, I took like two handfuls out and put in a baggie. And the rest I put up. So he can go through those ones first. And then once they start getting broken and used up, we can um, get more down. <laughs> and then right here 
is a box of toys to donate and this is a bunch of play food that he never plays with anymore so I just taped it up really good you can't tell because it's clear but um I'm gonna donate that and that's a yoga mat we have two of those we don't need two and I'm gonna start doing yoga again once I get cleared after I have the baby so I'm gonna donate that one but keep my other one Whew, I'm tired <laughs> and it's still so hot in here I think I'm gonna get the fan out of Jesse's room and bring it here because I'm burning up I think it's my hormones you know because I don't have fever it's just I'm hot <laughs> but I'm gonna sit down and drink a lot of water and maybe crochet some more on my pullover this is a bunch of cords that was beside the couch I gotta figure out what they are and put them somewhere <laughs> but that's a task for a different day but yeah I'll be glad when this pile of Christmas stuff gets put up but it's just gonna sit here until Devin's off Thursday because it goes in this closet behind our big TV. Our TV is huge. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. It's a 75-inch TV. So I can't move that out of the way. I'm going to have to wait for Devin. He'll take down the tree. And then we'll put it in there. And I also have some Halloween stuff that I found that is in Halloween box in there. We got stuff in there. And then I can put up the rest of Valentine's Day stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to pop in and let you know that I was being productive. But not crazy. You know, I haven't been overdoing it. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. There's another little Lego. A little helmet <laughs> sitting on my computer desk. Legos everywhere. He has a ton of Legos in here, which can stay in here. This little cabinet over there by the amp until June gets to crawling. And then I told him his Legos will have to go in his room then because she, she'll eat them. <laughs> but um, when Jesse was little, we first moved here. He was eight months old and crawl he just started crawling before we moved here. Um, we put a baby gate. In this store over here where that amp is and i also had one in the kit right here at the kitchen and one in the hallway because i couldn't find one that would fit this big doorway that wasn't like 200 dollars. so we'll probably do the same thing with june so that she is only in the living room while she's crawling and stuff uh, you know ideally we wouldn't be living here but with the housing market being so crappy right now we're just gonna keep on saving and maybe by the time the market gets better We'll have more saved than we had originally thought and um can put more down on the house <laughs> so we're just gonna live here we're fine living here it'll be tight as she gets older but um they won't be too bad we'll be fine <laughs> i'm not worried about it but i'm gonna sit down and drink some water and just watch some tv until i get tired and crochet so i might pop back in i might not probably not unless it's just a clip of crochet Whew. i'm gonna rest my big old bump <laughs> And uh, chill, but I'm gonna go get that fan because it is hot in here to me. It wasn't hot to Devin, I know it's me, it's my hormones. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think I did everything I needed to do today that I wanted to do. So I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 29 and also watch your work on Wednesday. So bye guys. <laughs> it is me again. <laughs> I wanted to come on here and show you guys something. Um, I'm sitting down at the computer. I was just about to uh, put my files onto the computer so that I can edit them if it will wake up. Wake up, computer. Anyways, when we were at Walmart the other day to get my prescription, um, the Hallmark lady, <laughs> I don't know what to call her, but I've known her. She worked there. She was the same Hallmark lady when I worked there at Walmart. Uh, gosh, almost nine years ago now. Um, I worked at Walmart when me and Devin first got together. Um, but anyway, she's the lady that comes in and changes out all the Hallmark cards for the seasons, you know. She's always been the same lady. She's always been real nice. But she, uh, we walked by there because I was looking to see if they had wrapping paper. But the only wrapping paper they had left on clearance was like buffalo plaid, which is not my thing. I like cute, like characters, you know. And uh, I guess I'm just going to have to buy some full price next year because I cannot find any um, cute character ones this year. Anyways, sidetrack. We walked by and she saw Jesse and she said, she, uh, you know, she got our attention and asked if he could have this card uh, because it's a display model and she was just going to have to throw it away anyways. But it's a curse. It's a um, Santa card. These are like those real expensive cards, you know. And when you push it right here, it does that. Probably should have done that. Because <laughs> it cures a copyright. Okay, it's short. It won't matter. But it's just cute little wheels, moves, and Jesse loves it a lot. It's been sitting here on my computer desk since then. And I'm going to try to put it in my Christmas box and save it for next year. 
but he might if he gets hold of it, I'll just let him have it because it was free enough. But these are like real expensive when you buy them as a card. Uh, so yeah, it was just cool that she gave it to him, and um, she was putting all the Hallmark cards left over for Christmas on clearance. I guess I don't. I'm not sure if they do that or if they take them back. But it was just really sweet that she did that. <laughs> she said that she loves little boys. She probably has grandbaby. She's like an older lady. She probably has grandsons that Jesse reminded her of. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I forgot to. I got all my hearts laying here. These are the hearts that I want to try to find some more of at Dollar Tree. They came in, I think, packs of six. There's some bigger and then there's some real big ones. I want to get some more of those if I can. But um, they didn't have any last year. And I don't know if they will this year. And then I got big giant hearts. These uh, felt ones that actually hang from the ceiling. I know I'm extra, but I love holidays. It's just, it's fun. <laughs> but I got command hooks hanging up there. I don't know if you can see any of them. I think there's one right there. Yeah, that's one <laughs> that I hang these from. And then around St. Patrick's Day, I hang shamrocks from them. Um, yeah, just to festive up the house and make it fun. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here now again <laughs> and get this edited and up so that I can just set the rest of the night and enjoy a long time until... Jesse comes home tomorrow. Um, we gotta pick him up in the morning because mom has an appointment. And then we're just gonna come home. I have no plans for tomorrow unless I get um, something in the mail to go pick up. Oh, like I want. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So it's gonna be a pretty boring week vlog wise. The last few vlogs for this year are gonna be boring. But uh, oh well, June's kicking right now. She moved around a lot in there. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow and then in the other videos that I already mentioned a little while ago. But then I wanted to show you that card because it's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys.